Okay, for the first uh, part of this video, basically what you've got here is the screen. Um, what I'm going to do is just basically outline some of the items. So this is a test box, so everything you can see here allows us to manipulate the figures inside. So first thing, if you start and stop at the machine, if this light is on, that means it's in uh, automatic operation, so you've got to be a bit careful going inside the compressor. So if this light's off, it's not an automatic operation. If this light's on, it is. This is power. If you press the start button, machine starts up. Quite simply, when you want to stop it, you just press the stop button. On the main screen, when this is not a VSD, you'll have pressure. It'll say compressor running on or off. Yeah, and you'll have menu. And most things that you're going to go through it's going to come from the F1 button so when you press the F1 button straight away you come into quite a number of options now status data, measured data, counters main screen yeah and test so you can go up and down for this first exercise what we're going to do is we're going to press this, this button here once the arrow is now changed to measured data. We press the uh, to and fro arrows. And what I've done is I've put some settings in. And on these settings now, um, we're going to have some pretty basic running conditions. So this compressor has been set at 7 bar, which I'll, I'll, I'll go through later how we adjust that. It's showing the air filtered uh, DP, which is normal. Oil pressure normal 2.6, 2.7 bar. Press the arrow down again and you move to intercooler pressure which again I've set at a normal pressure 2.1 bar compressor outlet 45C perfect element 1 outlet that's the LP outlet that's 172 degrees again fine a little bit cool on that one which I can adjust but element 2 inlet 35 35 40 quite normal after the intercooler and then you've got element 2 outlet which I've set at 160 degrees, again that's absolutely fine. Compressor water valve temp, uh, sorry compressor water temp which is 47 degrees outlet and then you actually have the um, after cooler water temperature outlet okay and then you go on to all these other emergency stop, closed, open, remote start, stop, remote load, unload, open, we can go through that. Um, Basically, if this was a, an MD dryer model, it would have MD, all the MD measurements in measured data. So it's quite simple now. We want to get back to the main screen. Okay, we can press menu twice, back to the main screen. Next thing you want to do is look at the counters, which is something obviously you need to take readings off. You've got the measured data. So if you press once, one, two, we're now counters and the little highlighted arrow. You can press once. And this is now showing us our running hours, loaded hours, motor starts, etc. Okay, load relay time, stuff like that. Press the menu again. Okay, test. We're not going to do test because it's basically, basically just testing the Mark IV electronic on, but you can, you can go into test and there's different test um, things you can do. Display test, you can do safety valve test, outputs etc. Again, one back press and uh, the next one we're going to look at is modifying parameters. So this is where we can alter um, protection parameters, protections, service plan, menu etc. So the first one we're going to look at is parameters, so it's highlighted, press once. And we can look at uh, loading pressure and unloaded pressure, so we've got 6.8, 7.2, so we want to modify those, simply press this okay now we can see that the pressure is flashing okay we've got program limits and cancel so we're just going to take that up one notch and down one notch okay we press program and it's still the same okay what I'm going to do is take the unload pressure up though so you press down once press this arrow okay sorry I made a mistake somehow So, unloading pressure now we're highlighted, we press modify, we're going to take that up one notch. So 
So it's letting us take it up to 7.3. There will be a limit. If you press limits, it will tell you the 8.6 bar is the absolute limit. You can press that button, return. And again, now you've gone back to 7.3. So we're going to program that one in. Okay. So now we've programmed it, we're at 7.3 bar. We've got loading pressure 2, unloading pressure 2. Okay. And start delta time. Okay. That's and load delay time, that's 10 seconds for uh, V time, load delay is 12 seconds. Number of starts a day, this one's been set at 72. Minimum stop time, 20 seconds. Programming stop time, all these things you can modify but within limits. So we're just going to go back now. Okay. Okay, for this part of the video, um, what we've actually got now, we've started the compressor so you can see the uh, automatic operation lights on, the power light, there's no trips. But what I'm going to do is induce uh, a trip so you can see uh, exactly what happens. So we're going to press F1, we're going to go into measure data. Okay, we're going to come down to oil pressure. Okay, we're on the oil pressure. Just basically so you can see this guys. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn oil down. And now you can see it's actually tripped. So the red light comes on and you get in the, the flashing asterisks, asterisks. So I'm going to take that oil pressure back up. So when we start it back up it's okay. You can see now as the oil pressure has come back up the trip light's gone off. But that's that should have been a reset to be fair. So we're going to leave that oil pressure around about that. The other one I'm going to show you as a trip is... Um, okay, let's get these three up. So you've got element 1 outlet, element 2 inlet, element 2 outlet. Now, so if we had an intercooler pressure problem, uh, intercooler temperature problem, for example, the 35 degree temperature would actually rise. So, if we look at that one, and I adjust it, I'm going to take the temperature up now. Sorry, go back the other way. Okay. When it gets to 70, it's tripped. It's completely tripped the machine now, and we're going to have to do a reset. So you can see what's actually uh, what we've actually got on the screen here because I manipulated this button. Is we've now got the reset option before we can restart. So the red light's flashing, so we press the reset and we've now gone back to an all conditions are okay. Okay, I'm going to start the compressor up. So you'll see as I press start. And the compressor is now um, in an unloaded condition. Um, basically, what we can do then is um, now it's gone into a loaded condition. So it's gone through its start delta, it started to load. Okay, so if you just remember what I did, I created an intercooler uh, temperature shutdown. I've reset that shutdown now. But I'm going to show you how you can see what the compressor shut down on. So you can see shutdown in the asterisks. So you press menu. Bring the arrow down, Pass service, you go on to saved data. Now once you're in saved data now you press this and it will name number all the shutdowns. So the last shutdown was the one we just created. So the arrow is highlighted on that one. And you can see what happened is the shutdown marks from 70 degrees and we went over 70 degrees and at that point we, we got the shutdown. Okay. You can actually record the hours and the time and the date of everything that happened. It's all on there for you to take that information away. Okay, I'm just going to get out of this menu and then uh, restart the training. Okay, for this short clip, uh, the compressor is actually running. It's in automatic operation. And you can see the compressor's loaded. Now there might be an occasion where you want to unload the machine manually. So you just press F3. And now that's unloaded the compressor. Okay. 
so the moment you want to actually load the compressor back up you can press load again okay for this example uh, what I want to show is uh, a, a high temperature and element and, and the consequences of that so remember we've started the compressor it's running we've gone uh, F1 into measured data and now we've come down the measured data now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to up the temperature of the element 1 outlet okay so basically element 1 outlet so I'm going to turn this up now I'm at 195, 196, 197 okay we're going over now 200 degrees now remember two, it should be set around 220 this for trip so we've now got to 219 and as we've gone past that it's completely tripped the machine so if you remember what happened there um, we got a situation where we uh, where we actually uh, got a warning at 220 degrees at 219 degrees and then after we went past 220 to 230 then it tripped the compressor so that's basically simulating a warning and then a trip okay I want to show you basically what an HP element fault looks like so the HP element is obviously the second stage the smaller stage the high pressure stage in this situation we've gone um, again the machines running we've gone into measured data and we're, we're scrolling down so we've currently got a customer saying he's, he's, he's having trips so if we look at this what I've done is I've manipulated the intercooler pressure up to 2.7 bar so that's clearly indicating that that uh, elements running in an abnormal uh, pressure position but also when we go down uh, we can now see that the LP elements at 206 so the LP elements getting hotter um, a, a, a common thing that happens is when the uh, when the HP elements fail and its temperature can look reasonably normal but the intercooler pressure rises and the element 1 outlet temperature rises and of course what's happened here as well in this simulation is the inlet temperature to the um, to the HP element has actually risen so don't don't get this wrong when it's showing a high temperature on the LP and a higher intercooler pressure than normal it's the HP element so I just wanted to make that clear okay, okay guys uh, completely the opposite now we're going to show a low pressure element failing not an high pressure element failing so that's stage one so remember the compressor is running um, from the main screen we want to go into measured data okay and as we come down the measured data we see that the intercooler pressure is abnormally low 1.9 bar is the minimum this is at 1.6 bar and the consequences of that are that as you'll see the compressor outlet temperature has gone up because the HP elements now running very hot because the low pressure elements failing to deliver enough air to the uh, HP elements so it's kind of starved of air and uh, we've got quite a normal intercooler temperature 45 it looks like we've got a normal outlet temperature of the LP element, but the HP element's showing that it's under stress. Okay, so if you remember what we said there, that obviously now compressor outlet 50, if you had an MD dryer on the back of this compressor, 50 would be the absolute maximum. So at this point, you would be looking to change the LP element, but of course, if the compressor's done 50, 60,000 hours, you'd change both elements. Okay, and if you want to get back to the menu again. We just push back to the main screen. Okay, what I want to show you with this fault is again. Remember, we've gone to measured data. Compressor's running, but what we've got is uh, high stage two inlet temperature, fifty-seven degrees. Um, now we've got pretty normal uh, element temperatures but we've got this 57 degrees so it's highly likely that we've either got a water starvation problem which would show up in the other temperatures for the after cooler and the compressor outlet but if it's specifically just this temperature that's uh, giving you problems it's more than likely the intercooler is becoming blocked so that's intercooler out clean put back in you should get this down to a normal temperature and of course if this if this temperature keeps rising uh, which is uh, element 2 inlet and we show that rising you'll see 
as it gets as it gets higher sorry it will it would actually trip if it was running the machine's not running at the moment so we can actually just take that back okay I've actually created a bigger problem okay so if we start the compressor and the compressor will go through its start sequence so now the compressor's uh, running and it's running loaded if uh, I actually uh, increase that temperature you'll start to see what happens so we're going up now 59 really on getting on the limit 60 now we've got the now, now we're getting to uh, a, a warning situation in a moment there you go 66 now we've got the red light and now we've completely tripped the machine because it's gone over 70 degrees so now we have to go through uh, the reset procedure again okay so what it's saying is that temperature has got to come down before we can do it you can look at shutdowns and now it's showing that uh, in, in its shutdown and it's not cooled down yet so that's one of the reasons why it's not uh, it's not able to reset once I actually turn that temperature down in on, on the panel here then uh, then the compressor will be able to start again right guys I want to just show you there's going to come times when you need to uh, modify the parameters just to keep the customer going so if you remember you go into F1 you go into the screen where you can go measure data and then you come to modify parameters you press this button okay and now we're going to flip down one and go into protections some of these protections you can change some you can't okay we're going to go down now um, because this particular customer has got a problem with uh, his HP element remember we're going to modify the LP element outlet temperature so what we're going to do is going to press this and what it's saying is the shutdown maximum at the minute is 230 degrees currently it's 182 that might be too 219 and it's very close we can modify that so we can modify it either way um, basically because this one's already been set quite artificially high it should be 220 I'm going to bring it down um, so this is going to protect the compressor better so remember a normal a normal uh, protection temperature for the elements is 220 degrees so again now we can go back up so let's let's imagine this compressor has actually got a, a high temperature problem on the element one outlet so we can take that up so we'll take it up to 230 there's limits obviously to what you can do and you can see what those limits are we're actually at the maximum limit so we're going to program that now okay we can then go back and now the 230 degrees is programmed in for that element one outlet so for example now if that element happened to go up to say over 220 to, to 226, 227, it won't actually trip the machine. It's, it's, uh, you, you've set in a higher safety parameter. Don't really advise it. Change the element, guys. That's far better than letting the, com letting the compressor run at those temperatures and, and ultimately causing more damage. Just one other... Uh, video that we'll make now uh, in uh, modifying parameters you can actually go into configuration so when you go into configuration that's highlighted you can go into whether you want to be in local control etc you can then modify from local control to auto you can then go down you can change the menu for example so in this case now we're in English language by pressing that sorry this one's not allowing you to do it, but you can actually change uh, the languages. So yeah, so there you go. You can change the language, so you can go to to a different one that's programmed. This this actually hasn't got any other ones in, so uh, we're not going to be able to do that. But you you can then go back. Okay. So again, in configuration, you press it once. You can you can go down the various list. Okay, and you can uh, you can look at modifying some of those. Um, some of those parameters okay. time, date, so forth date format, pressure units temperature units vibration, if vibration is in, uh, in, the, in the device and then you can just go menu menu again 
main screen back to the main screen. Hope that's been useful and if there's anything specific uh, you want to know further about using the electronic on, um, you only have to email me at, at sales at uh, hire.co.uk, Mark Wally, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever it needs doing for you. Okay guys, I'm going to stop the compressor. Well the compressor stops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, nice, uh, nice putting this video together for you and uh, I hope it's been useful. Bye.